Welcome back. We're eating with King Steph the Chef. We got a special meal for y'all today, man. I'm loving it. Also, we got to talk about my Knicks clinching this playoff spot. Y'all thought y'all was going to stop and say we wasn't coming back. Well, baby, we back, and we back at it again. Now, let's get into this meal. So, y'all already know how it's coming along with me, man. Y'all know I got the best food out here. So, we're going to start off with make sure we got the toasted onion sourdough. We're going to throw some pepper jack cheese on there. Thickening for the sauce. That sauce, we're going to throw a little Old Bay and some Creole in there. Make it New Orleans style. Y'all already know, we ain't going nowhere without my season mix. Got it made right here. I'm going to put some Smart Balance butter in there. We're going to cook it with that. And of course, let's go over here and see what we're going to put with this. We got the salmon. Go ahead and cut it for later, ready to go. We got the shrimp. We're going to take the tails. We're going to cut them up. Gonna chop this up, mix everything all together. And we're gonna add some lobster tails into it. Y'all stay tuned. All right, so step one, we went ahead and threw the butter in the pan. Go ahead and let that start melting. While that's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and break this down. Since this has started, we're going to go ahead and place the salmon on in. We're going to finish that up. Should we add more shrimp? Of course. Who doesn't love more shrimp?
Now, not only my season mix does contain the salt, this time I didn't put no salt in there for the simple reason that I have Old Bay and I have Creole seasoning. You don't want to make it too salty, so I lightened up on it. This made it flavorful. That way, when this comes along, it gives you that kick that you need. Y'all stay tuned for the next step. Three. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to stop. All right, so now, y'all can see, the salmon's done. I'm gonna get y'all a close up of that in a second. About to go ahead and add the crab case to this. As it has thawed out some, I'm gonna break it up in a little. Once it gets there, then we're gonna go ahead and add the shrimp and the lobster tails to it. But like I told y'all, I'm gonna show y'all this, man. Just so y'all can see what it's hitting on, man. I know y'all want something. Got y'all mouth watering right now, don't it? I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit. Go ahead and break this up. Air is ready to break. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and flip it over then. Let it cook that way so it cook a little quicker. Because you don't want to overcook your meat. Y'all stay tuned to the next step when we add the meats to it. One. All right, so the meat has broken down. Now we can add the rest to it. Let y'all see how it's coming along. All right, y'all asking why I'm sitting there still stirring it? Cause like I told y'all before, y'all don't want the meat to overcook. So. My bad, I got a little too close to the camera. Cameraman made me back up. So, y'all see, let it cook a little bit again. And by another 10, 15 seconds, I will stir it up some more. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and pull this from the mix. Leave as much juice as possible. We add a little more butter to it. We put our heavy cream. So it gives it some of the flavor.
last bit of butter. Everybody throw this Creole. Now while this is going, we're gonna go ahead and sit here. I'm gonna grab a plate and I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the sandwich together. so y'all can see it. Let's slide this to the back. For my cheese lover, y'all gonna love it. I'll be putting two slices on each side. That pepper jack, pepper jack. I name one cheese that you bite and it bites back. Ain't nothing but that pepper jack. Well, normally I will use a spoon for this, but I'm using this. I want to get every bit of the meat, of the seasonings, everything, all the fat, all the juices mixed in perfectly with this. I'm gonna let this cook a little bit more. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add the sauce. Go ahead and put this. I'm gonna grab another piece. And sit that in right there. And I don't like that one. Now, y'all see we have it. Ooh, now this is hot. Now I advise y'all to get a spoon to do it with this. Been cooking for 11 years, so kind of get used to the heat after a while. Cornstarch to the mix. Turn it down so it start thickening. And once it thickens, we're gonna add the sauce on there. We're gonna sandwich it up. We're gonna to toast both sides of this sandwich. Y'all stay tuned for that final step. All right, so we letting this heat up now. We got the final step, or the second to last step. Presentation is the last, y'all know that. Now, just so y'all know, I did dilute this sauce due to the fact that, if y'all don't know by now, that seafood sauce is definitely 
that has salt in it. So, depending on y'all levels that y'all could take, I would dilute it. I'm gonna go ahead and set this on in here. And let this cook. I want the cheese to be melted. All right, so once it's finished, y'all get the final look. So this is the steps we take to it. Y'all seen all the steps. Appreciate y'all being here with me. Stay tuned for the final product. See y'all soon. Oh, man. Oh, man. See, you see this right here? This is golden. This is how you want your bread to look, golden. If it's not golden, it ain't right. So we let the other side cook. Once the other side's finished, we're gonna slice it up. We're gonna throw a little more sauce so you can have it across the plate, make the plate look pretty. And we there. Last step, coming soon. So here we have it, the final finished product. Oh, that looks so good. We got everything in there. Like I told y'all, we was gonna have a banger today. We got the salmon. We got the shrimp, we got the crab, and we got the lobster up in here. Man, y'all can't beat this with the onion. Sourdough bread, man, this is delicious right here. And we made a good old sauce to go with it. Man, this sauce right here, man, let's go ahead and get into it, man. Also, I started this off wrong. We got to talk about my New York Knicks, man. We here again. We about to sit there and go. We're going to come back tonight. We're going to win this game, and we're going to the playoffs, baby. So let's go ahead and take this into consideration of how beautiful this looks. Y'all see the inside of this? Man, y'all can't beat this with this good old pepper jack melted. Make you want to cry and slap your mama for real. This right here is amazing. Surprised nobody came up with this idea sooner. That's how you want your sandwich to be. That's how you want to be flavorful, delicious. Y'all can't beat it. Mm. Y'all stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Show love to the page. I appreciate y'all support. Y'all comment what y'all want to see me make next. I'm going to keep being creative and come with different things. I'll see y'all on the next video.